welcome back guys welcome back to my channel today in this short tip i will show you guys how you can create this type of spiral shapes in adobe illustrator so let's get started all right guys it's actually pretty easy to create this shape first thing i'm going to select a rectangle in here select the rectangle and we are going to draw a square so we can create a normal square like this or what i'm going to do is i'm going to define the size for this square so just press on the artboard and for the width let's say i want to have 900 and also for the height i will change it to 900 and okay all right so let's center this one to the artboard center to the horizontal and vertical all right okay now i'm going to select the ellipse and going to draw a circle in here again i'm just going to click in here and for this one also i'm going to say 900 width and 900 height all right and let's center this one to the artboard as well and select both of them and in here instead of fill i will convert it to outlines as a stroke so this is just for you guys to show the shape how it's fitting in you have to center them first and then i'm going to select both of them and i'm going to deselect the stroke in here as well and go to the pathfinder if you guys don't see pathfinder in here you can go to windows and activate the pathfinder from here all right and select all of them and divide them which is this one in here all right okay so now i'm going to select everything again and going to apply this stroke in here and you guys should have a shape like this and right click and ungroup now you will have four sections like this okay all right okay so i will go back in here you can select the circle and delete it okay make sure you only select the circle we have to keep this shape for now now i'm going to make a copy from one of these shape so i will select this one press alt and drag which will make a copy of this shape now go to the direct selection tool and select this anchor point and delete it now we have this quarter of a circle we are going to use this in a while before that let's zoom in a bit and make sure in the views smart guides are on and also snap to the points are on okay this is very important now go in and select a circle again an ellipse and go into this point in here anchor point when you guys move your cursor closer to this one with the smart circle you can see the anchor point is appearing okay so now all you need to do is press shift and alt and draw a circle like this all right and for this circle we are going to convert back to fill and again i'm going to do the same in here as well select this make sure you are selecting the anchor point hold the shift and alt and draw a circle like this okay all right and now you can define a size for this circle and for this i'm going to say width is 50 and the height is 50 as well which is fine and for this i'm going to say width is 5 and the height is 5 so now we have a very small circle in here which is fine now select the blend tool and select this one the big circle and then select the small circle all right now select both of these the blending circles and the arc shape and now go to the object inside go to the blend and in here select the replace spine which will add in these circles into the arc shape like this all right now and again double click to open the blending options and in here instead of smooth colors we need to have a distance in here then only our shape will look nicer so to do that you guys can go in here instead of smooth colors select specific step and in here let's bring down the step until we have clear distance between the circles you guys may need to click this preview back and forth and i think yeah this look better okay so i'm just going to select okay for this and now let's go back to the selection and bring this in here 
And again, guys, make sure your smart guide is on and bring this one into the correct position like this. Okay. So this arc path in here should follow this circle exactly like this in here. You can see now there is no cap. It's just following the circle. Okay. So once you have done, select this shape and go to the mirror, which is in here and select the reflection and double click and make a copy horizontally like this. Okay. And make sure to click on the copy. So we have this copy in here. Now again, you can bring this one in here. If you on the smart guide, you should see the shape auto touching like this. So we are in the exact center like this. All right, now select both of these uh, shapes and again, go to the mirror, which is reflection and double click and make a vertical copy, right? And this one again, press V or you can select the selection tool and bring it in here and place it in the exact center so make sure it's overlapping this circle perfectly fine there's no caps which is good okay now our shape is ready now select this one in here and also this one in here opposite ones and go to objects again go to the blend and reverse pipe which will give you a shape like this all right Okay, cool. Now we can delete these. We don't need this anymore. Okay. And we have this nice shape in here. Now select all of them and control G, which will make as a group or you can go to object and make a group as well. All right. And now select this. You guys can make it bigger if you want to. Okay. Now select this and go to effects and go to the distort and transform and select transform. So now I'm just going to place it in here. All right, so for the scale, I'm going to select 95 and for the vertical also, I'm going to select 95, all right? And now you can see it's uh, getting scaled like this. We need more, so I'm going to select 90 maybe and this one also 90. All right, so we have this gap in here. So let's go to the copies and make how many copies we want. Let's enter 12 and see. And we will have a shape like this, which look fine for me. And you guys, if you want, you can make it even more, even more copies. Maybe let's make it 18. All right, so you can see it's repeating until here, which is good. Okay, so now we have the base shape in here. And all we need to do now is go to the rotation and give a rotation angle. So let's say 15 degree angle. And when I press on copies, you guys will get this shape like this. Okay, pretty cool. If you want to change the spiral angle, you can just simply add a minus value in here. Instead of 15, if you let, let's say if you enter minus 12, your spiral will be opposite side like this. So once you create this shape, let's say if you want to move the center point, the center circle, you guys can use this move section to move this circle. And also guys, if you guys want to move the center circle, the vanishing point towards any side, you can use this move section in here. When you use the horizontal move like this, you can see the circle is moving towards this side. All the shape will be adjusted based on uh, this circle in here same for the vertical as well so you guys can play around with these settings and create unique shapes like this for my example i'm just going to select this one zero and this one zero in here okay so once you're satisfied you can just simply select okay and you guys can always go back in here with the appearance with the transform tool or you can find it in here as well in the properties window and edit them in future okay and one last thing I want to show, and if you guys want to have some different colors or different variation, you can simply go to the direct selection tool and select these circles individually and select different colors from your library. For an example, if I select this one in here, you can see this shape is changing like this, which look nice. So you guys can play around with colors and so many different settings in here to create this type of unique shape. Alright guys, so that's all about it for today. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next uh, video.